Hello and welcome to my channel. What we have here is a Marbles Barlow in Ram's Horn. And I, I got it because I like the Ram's Horn. I, I got another knife in Ram's Horn and I didn't know that how they were like translucent towards the bottom. But there's like a rough spot, you know, where the horn is. Well, this one had a pretty big defect when I got it. Uh, there was a chunk of this sticking up. I wish I would have taken a picture of it first. And I had to, when I pulled it, you know, it pulled a big chunk of that off. So basically I had to scrape that out. It also has a fairly big gap right here. You can see daylight through this. Let me see if I can get a flashlight on that. I already got my O-light on moonlight mode. So you can see that. Focus over here. Don't focus on the flashlight. Focus on the knife. See a pretty big gap right there. Look how that horn does. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, got that and that. Um, I originally had gotten this because I was going to include it in the giveaway, but I don't want to give away something that's, you know, got a huge gap you can see daylight through. And a defect on it. So it's going to be mine. I'm not going to return it. I'm just going to keep it. It's a decent knife, you know. I mean, I like the way a Barlow fits well in a hand. It's fat enough there, you know. It gets good control on it. It's got a nice little clip blade. Let's see how long it is. It looks like about two and a half inches or so. We've got a cutting edge of about two inches. Do inside diameter. Come on, you can make it. Or he's sitting on the... He went down in the recess. So it would really be from the bolster to the tip of the blade. Sorry, I'm going to have to look at this with my eyeballs through the camera. There. About two and a half inches. I don't know why I fiddled around with all that just to get that. And this one looks like about an inch and a half. Yeah, about an inch and a half cutting edge or inch and a half blade there on the pin blade. So, yeah, they're nice knives, but uh, what I've noticed with at least the last couple of years that I've been buying Marbles knives, their quality is lower than Rough Rider. Rough Rider general stuff, you know. Yeah, you can run into this on a Rough Rider, but it seems like it happens more often with Marbles. that like really obvious stuff that should have been caught. And especially like this big chunk that was sitting up there. It was a big piece of it and it was dyed extra green, you know, and sticking up. Um, but anyways, because I didn't take a picture of it and went ahead and pulled on it. You know that urge, you got to fix something like, oh, let me let pull on this. And of course it pulled a bunch of it out. And you're getting to the point where now it's just a translucent part. So you don't have much bone surface or horn surface left, you know, to mess with. Well, it's got a halfway decent, you know, reverse frost on it. Little ram's horns there on the edge on each end. Yeah, it's a halfway decent knife. Let's see what the uh, model number is. Uh, model number 365, MR365. There was a lot of glue up in here sticking around that i had to take off but yeah it's just that portion right there of course i can re-dye it with a little bit of green if i wanted to but i think i'm just gonna leave it like that they're happily decently centered overall they're a nice knife but um yeah you just take your chances with them if you're picky you know just send it back See this? They just got too carried away with their buffing and wiped out the rest of the horn. It's just down to the translucent part. 
But yeah, you're going to run into... It's handmade, you know? So, depends on who's making it. If um, the guy over there in China that's making this had a rough day and really doesn't care, you know, his family doesn't appreciate him and his dog bit him when he got home and the cat won't give him any attention and his wife never talks to him. You know, he goes up to work and he's like, ah, I'm hell with it. This is good enough for those Americans or whoever's buying this. Anyway, yeah, that's just my theory. It's all to totally uh, in my head, so. But look, yeah, look at that gap, man. <laughs> I mean, come on. If you are if you were making one of these, you would know, hey, there's something wrong with this knife, you know? But, oh well. So, yeah, I hope that doesn't disappoint you from these type of knives, because they are cool, little Barlow's and everything. But, yeah, you're going to run into stuff like this for the price. I don't remember what it is. I'll put the price up there. Fairly inexpensive, so. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.